With the Haiku Annotator powered by Crocodoc, teachers can grade assignments handed in by students through the Dropbox, annotate them, and return them to the students right inside Haiku. To do this, I'm going to start in the Dropbox for my class. For more information on the Dropbox, please check our knowledge base at support.haikulearning.com. By clicking on one of the student's names, I can see a list of the documents that that student has handed in. The gray check mark indicates that I have not yet marked this document as reviewed. After I've marked it as reviewed, this check mark will be green, but we'll see that in just a moment. To open this document in the annotator, I just need to click on the name of the document itself. Here I can see that the document has been opened in the Haiku Annotator, powered by Crocodoc. Here again I see the gray check mark, indicating I have yet to mark this document as reviewed. I can also zoom out and zoom in and hide and reveal the comment bar. I'm ready to make some comments on this paper. I can add a point comment, an area comment, or a text comment to this document. I'm going to start with a point comment. By clicking on point comment, selecting a point in the document, and clicking again, I now have the ability to add a comment to this particular point. Next, I'm going to add an area comment. This allows me to highlight an entire section of the document by clicking and dragging to create an outline. I can then make a comment about what I've selected. I also want to comment on some specific text inside this document, so I'm going to select Text Comment. Then I'm going to highlight the text that I would like to make the comment on. And again, once I finish my highlight, I have the ability to make the comment on the right-hand side. I can also draw right here inside the Haiku Annotator. I just need to click Draw and select the color from the right-hand side. Then I can use my mouse or my trackpad to freehand draw right here on the document itself. No laughing, I'm not an artist. Once I've finished my drawing, I can select Complete or Cancel. Well, this is good enough for now. I'm going to select Complete. Now I can click and drag this picture anywhere on the document. I also need to highlight some of this text just to call attention to it. I click Highlight and again select a color from the right side. Simply highlight the text that I want to emphasize. I can highlight in multiple colors on the same document simply by selecting another color and highlighting another area of text. I also want to type some text directly onto this document. So I'm going to go ahead and click text, choose the color of the text, select a point size, then just click where I'd like to place the text and begin typing. This too can be dragged to anywhere on the document that I need it. I can also strike out unnecessary text. I just need to click strike out. Then I can highlight the text that I think is unnecessary and it then gives me the option of adding a note to explain why I've stricken this out. Well, now I've changed my mind about that strikeout. I can remove any of the annotations that I've made on this document simply by right-clicking on them and selecting Remove. Once I've finished annotating, I can see here that I have the option of marking this as reviewed. This is that gray check mark that we looked at earlier. 
I'm done with this. I'm going to mark it as, as reviewed. And now we can see that that gray check mark is showing as green. I also have the option of handing this back to the student right now, but I'm not ready to do that. I'd like to finish grading all of the documents turned in for this assignment for each of the students before I hand them back. I can do that by clicking Next Student in the upper right corner. This takes me to the next student's document, which I can then annotate and mark as reviewed. By clicking Next Student and Previous, I can toggle through the documents that have been handed in for any particular assignment. Once I'm done annotating, I'm going to click Back to Submissions. This will take me back to the list of documents that this student has submitted. Here we can see that the check mark has turned green as well. Now I'm going to click Close to go back to the Dropbox for this assignment. Now that I've marked some documents as reviewed, I have the option of handing back all of the reviewed files for any particular assignment. By clicking Hand Back Reviewed Files, I can see a list of all the documents that have been turned in, and the check mark on the left hand side tells me whether I've marked it as reviewed or not. Here, I can see that one document has been marked as reviewed, and two have not. By clicking Hand Back Reviewed Files, I'll be handing back that reviewed document now. This just tells me that it may take a few minutes for those documents to be handed back. I can click Continue to continue working on something else. Don't forget, you can find more information about the Haiku Annotator powered by Crocodoc and the Dropbox at support.haikulearning.com.